Welcome to Gate News for April 17th, 2014. We're your operators networking you to the latest in the weekly banters that flies from the mouthpieces of journalists everywhere. I'm Chris, and this is Grover. Dude! Please leave a message after the dude, dude. And yeah, we're a man short here, so... Uh... But we'll do what we can. I have no idea where they're getting the money, but Capcom announced that they've begun construction on not one, but two large multi-story research and development buildings in Osaka, completely outfitted with sound studios, motion capture studios, 100-seat auditoriums, all this to the tune of some $78 million. To quote, To succeed in this challenging environment, Capcom has been focusing resources on strategic and growing areas under the policy of selection and concentration in order to operate with speed and flexibility. Constructing these new R&D buildings will make game development operations more efficient by centralizing these operations and upgrading speed and control. To me, that sounds like he repeated himself like two or three times. But anyway, <laughs> on the plus side, it will be hiring more talent soon to fill these new spaces once the buildings are completed, expected to be sometime in February 2016. And speaking of money, Sony is selling its entire 9.5 million shares in Square Enix, a little over 8% of the company's stock. Stock is considered to be worth some 47 million US dollars, so maybe can't comment borrowing in that for their construction, but but that is not all that Sony is up to. In a bit of a surprising move, they announced they will be bringing three of their biggest RPGs to the Vita for the US and Europe, including Freedom Wars, Horashika, Tainted Bloodlines, and the highly anticipated Soul Sacrifice Delta. And our layoffs of this week is a singular one, but a notable one. Halo composer Marty O'Donnell was fired from Bungie this week. He's a bit upset that they did so without cause, though the Bungie team released a statement wishing him luck. It's unknown what work he's done for Bungie's huge new upcoming game, Destiny, but his work is all over the trailers for this game so far and can only be expected to have written quite a few tracks for it already. Whether Bungie will be using them or new composers is uncertain at this time. You're fired! Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> we miss you, man! We wish you didn't have to go! Bye! <laughs> That just sounds so weird. Uh, Parax has presented some amazing news for the strategy buffs at PAX East with the announcement of Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. It's a clear callback to its old Alpha Centauri game, which took the civilization mindset of the city builder and military to the stars. Beyond Earth looks to take the concept to a whole new level. Yes, it does look amazing. It's so many hours into Alpha Centauri, so I am kind of hopeful for this one. I'm frightened. <laughs> May lose some months, huh? Months. <laughs> months. Sure, months. But our last news comes as something is a bizarre mix that almost sounds like an April Fool's joke, but Blizzard has teamed up World of Warcraft with Paul Tool Jr., if I'm saying that name right, also known as Paul Jr., of the famed American Chopper show about designing high-end and often concept motorcycles to basically do exactly that. Players will vote on some early concepts, and Paul Jr. and company will then create the real things while Blizzard places caricatured variants as mounts in game, which sources the trailer. Okay, what? here you go. <laughs> And that was Game News for April 17th, 2014. Short and sweet, but just as well as wear a man down. But we'll be back next week with all the more... Blah, we'll be back next week, all the same, with more craziness and good news. And the literate people trying to read off the scripts. Dyslexia makes me smart. What's you? See y'all next time, dudes. See you next time. Woohoo!